Hey guys, JD here with the Kawasaki Ultra 310 Jet Ski. And today I'm going to show you how to upgrade your stock factory steering bracket with a really nice stainless steel one. All right, so let's go over the basics here. First of all, on your ski, you will have a little plate uh, that these two bolts go through. Mine, I dropped in the bilge when I first did my steering pivot maintenance and for the life of me cannot find it. So I have a new one right here. This is just this little flat plate that goes right there. So I've got that. And then also this is actually, as you see from this tag here, this is from a 2007 Kawasaki Ultra 250. And um, I bought this on eBay. This is a 316 stainless steel steering cable support bracket. Now the bracket that comes on the 2022 plus models, and I think actually all of the Ultra 310 models going back even to 2014, is a carbon steel bracket, a really crappy one that is rusting apart. I'm gonna take it out and show you here. And uh, so first of all, I'll say, whoever's in charge of this at Kawasaki, putting that carbon steel one in there, terrible decision and that bracket just is completely dissolving. It was carbon steel, not even powder coated, just painted, it's flaking apart. So this bracket from the Ultra 250, it's the same bracket, but it was stainless steel. I picked this up for $10 on eBay. And uh, again, here's the part number. This is from the seller I bought it from. So 14044-3754. So I'm gonna put this in and show you why the part from 2007 is much nicer and higher quality than the part you get on the new skis. All right, so to get this process started, you may be able just to take off these two bolts, pull that bracket out. I'm gonna remove the whole pivot bushing assembly here because I wanna lubricate it and inspect it. And there is a felt gasket underneath this. Uh, if the gasket rips when you pull this off, you'll have to replace it. The last time I had this off, I just resealed the gasket with some gasket sealer uh, and I, I reused it and, it and it was completely fine. So I'll show you, I'm planning to do that again. So I will show you uh, my process to reseal that gasket. All right, so I showed you these two 10 millimeter bolts down here. These are for the steering support bracket. I'm gonna actually go and loosen those two now. So with this, there's a quick connect fitting right here. So we're gonna reach in and we're gonna disconnect that. You should be able to do it by hand. Mine was just a little rusted. Shouldn't have been, but it was. Okay, so then here's your steering pivot bushing assembly. Okay, so here is your steering cable. Um, you know, my quick connect here is binding up quite a bit. You can see this should move freely. This one's binding pretty bad. There we go. Just needs to be cleaned up a bit. Uh, yeah, here's your, your cable. Uh, you can pull these boots off. And um, I am going to grease this cable up before I put it back together. But first, we're going to look at this bracket here. So see all the rust on this bracket? It's rusting away. I mean, it's really not terrible. I mean, realistically, could you just pull it out and put some Rust-Oleum on it and reinstall it? Sure. But I I, uh, I liked the stainless one, so. So to get this old cable out of the bracket, you'll see that there's this plastic piece that's holding the cable in place. So you don't want to break it, but you can see that um, there's nothing holding it in. It should just pop right out. You might need to spray some lubricant on it to work it out. All right, so to remove this quick connect fitting here, you're gonna need an 11 millimeter wrench. And then, uh, you know, you could mark how many threads you have. If your steering cable was adjusted properly, you really wanna put it back in the same place. We could just count the number of turns it takes to get this off as well. So that's what I'm gonna do. So typically what I'll do to hold these quick connects in place is use a five millimeter Allen, just like that. Um, and then you want to just slide the quick connect up and then, uh, you're going to use your socket to loosen this lock nut like that. Okay. 
So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to count the number of turns it takes to get this off. Six, seven. All right, so now you can see how this bracket is oriented, right? Your new bracket is going to be basically oriented the exact same way. We're going to go ahead and take this one off. And I just want to give you a closer up look at it. You can see that it's just rusting away. So I just, this isn't something that you really have to do. I'm just, I chose to do it because I found out that the previous one was stainless steel. And I was like, wow, how stupid of them. Some bean counter decided to take a quality durable part that lasts, you know, for 25 years and change it into this piece of crap one. So, all right, so here's your new bracket and we're gonna reinstall it the same way it came off. So you're gonna slide your cable through like this. Okay, we'll deal with that in a moment. Now we're gonna reattach our cinch nut here. And then we're gonna reinstall our quick connect fitting. This one is a bit dirty, it's got some corrosion. So I'm gonna go and clean this up. It also is having some trouble. Uh, so I'm gonna go and clean it up and, and get it opening and closing like new. Okay, so here is my quick connect. You can see it opens and closes smoothly, right? You should be able to do this, open and closing it smoothly. It, it was binding just a little bit. It uh, had a little bit of corrosion on it. And you can see it's still got some green corrosion, but it, it's, it doesn't have to be. So I just use a little bastard file like this just to clean up a little burr on it. It was binding a bit. This is brass. It's very soft metal. So you should be able to clean that up and get it functioning again. If you do neglect these and don't ever grease them, they will seize in place. But you can see mine, even that I just greased about 25 hours ago, was already binding again. So it is important to maintain these with grease and lubricant. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. So now I'm going to tighten up this nut. And your 11 millimeter wrench. Give it a tight, and there you go. So here's our brand new bracket. Now to, fin to finalize the installation of this, it's pretty easy. In the cable itself, there's a notch. And you're just gonna line this bracket up with that notch and then set it in there just like that. And then you come from the bottom with this like this. You can see it's got that little little eye so just like that and then you're going to snap it in but before i do that there's one thing i need to do some of you might already guess what it is so you need some marine grease uh, like this all right don't be afraid and what we're going to do is uh you can see that this cable has has gotten some rust on it so i'm going to go back in here and slather this whole thing with a lot of grease. You guys see that there? Hopefully you do. And uh, we're gonna line up the cable, then gonna apply some more grease just to be safe. And then this little plastic bracket here is gonna go in just like that. See that? I just pushed it in by hand. And then um, what I'm gonna do with that lower boot is slide the boot up the shaft like this okay and then i'm going to put grease along the shaft okay you see that and then as i push this boot down i'm going to kind of twist it around and it's going to collect all that grease and then i'm going to push that over the end and a bunch will squeeze out but we know that doing it that way you can see the shaft is now clean all that grease was collected inside of the boot so this portion here we're going to do the exact same thing we're going to put all that grease on the shaft and then we're going to push this boot here down the shaft. You can see that collects all the grease and uh, you kind of just want to be gentle so that it gets it all in there. We're going to make sure to grease this quick connect really well. There you go. It should be really smooth like this. All right. So if you do remove this steering bushing base assembly, um, ideally, you should replace the gasket, okay? 
There's the gasket. You can see my gasket is just basically non-existent, okay? Um, it's still there, the paper gasket, but it's come off. So you have two options here. One, you could spend the 25 or $30, whatever it costs to replace that gasket. Or two, you could use something like this. Now, you guys know I, I'm not a fan of like RTV silicone. I'm not a fan of, you know, band-aids on things, but this gasket's like 30 bucks. And, uh, you know, that's just stupid. So this is the aviation form of gasket that I use. I'm going to go ahead and use this. I've used this on gear cases and, you know, engine blocks and whatever. And um, if it works for that, it'll work for this. So just going to brush this on per the instructions. So then you wait about five minutes and reinstall these two components. And then I'm going to put these washers back on. All right. All right, so now let's refocus our attention right here. We're going to reinstall this steering bracket. We've got our new stainless one in place. You can see literally we're just going to hold it up like that. Before I do that, I'm going to coat the bottom or I guess the top of the bracket here with some grease. This is the part that contacts the hole, you know, salt water can get in there. There we go. Now, some people will want to put blue Loctite on these. I am just going to put a dab of grease right like that. And that's going to be at the base of this plate. And then each of these 10 millimeter bolts here, um, because I ride in salt, um, I actually don't want to use blue Loctite because then I'll never get this off. Right? That is our new stainless steel bracket. All right, guys, so there you have it. Um, way too much effort to just replace that stainless bracket there. But I also wanted to grease up my steering cable again. Uh, I don't think you could ever do that too much when you're riding salt. Here's the old bracket. It was this carbon steel one. It was rusting. It was causing rust to get on my cable. It was causing the cable you know, some damage. So I got rid of this, put in, I had this apart anyway, right? To do some other service. So that's why I did this. I didn't take this all apart just to do this bracket. I had this apart and I, and I, um, Steve from Cowie Performance, we were talking about hardware and he told me, oh, the Ultra 250s had a stainless bracket like this. So he's the one that told me about it. So blame him. So I went and found the stainless, stainless bracket, installed it. And, uh, it was a little more work maybe than it was worth, but now I know that uh, I have a nice heavy-duty stainless steering cable bracket and this uh, garbage painted one is uh, going to go in the garbage. If you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing for more exclusive jet ski content only on JD's Waterworld.